Please welcome Zasha Vazic. Children born today will never drive. And it's great, but for some people it's a big fear also. They're afraid of losing one freedom. Of course, mobility is very complex. It's multidimensional, multistructural. If we want to go further, it has to be faster, cheaper. In some way, we reduce the distance. And the most important, it should be sustainable. This is the future. Machine learning scientists made, not so far, a breakthrough with deep neural networks. Everybody knows about deep learning. So, but where to develop this artificial intelligence? We have to find a platform. When I hear on some conferences where I'm going that the technology is ready, I'm just wondering why people stop questioning. It's not true. We are far from being ready. So if we look at object segmentation, for example, if I have a policeman in front of you who wants to uh, to make a sign to pass or to stop, how I will understand it. And this is a problem of seen uh, understanding. And so machine learning still needs a breakthrough, and virtual reality can help it. Also, how to test all this? That's a big uh, point. Because some work said if we want to be as reliable, we should drive. 200 years, that's totally stupid when I read something like that. So should we stop the development for 200 years until we are ready? Maybe there's another way of doing. Maybe we should introduce simulation, virtual reality to help us. Don't believe everything. We are not ready. We can do a lot of things that are great. We will do it. But we need still a lot of work. And be positive, don't be afraid. Thank you very much.